Hey, this is Professor Perez. In this video, we are going to perform addition, subtraction, multiplication, and division with decimal numbers. But before we get started, we gotta get out. Charlie, he better be ready to go. Hey, Charlie, are you ready? Yeah. Let's get started right there. Four tenths plus three tenths. Here, we're adding using the vertical format. Remember, when you do this, you must line up the place value. Having decimals in our numbers makes it easy to line up place value. So here we go, 4 tenths plus 3 tenths, 4 plus 3 is 7, 0 plus 0 is 0, so our result is 7 tenths. Now let's perform the calculation by first converting the decimals to fractions. We have 4 tenths plus 3 tenths, which is 4 tenths plus 3 tenths, which is 7 tenths as a decimal, 7 tenths, 0 0.7, same answer. Here we have a subtraction problem again. We line up the numbers by place value. 8 tenths subtract 2 tenths. 8 subtract 2 is 6, 0 subtract 0 is 0, our answer is 6 tenths. Let's again perform the calculation by first converting the decimals to fractions, Charlie. Here we have 8 tenths subtract 2 tenths, which is 6 tenths. As a decimal, that's 0 0.6, that's 6 tenths, and there's our answer. Let's perform some multiplication, 4 tenths times 3 tenths. Let's first convert our decimals to fractions. We have 4 tenths times 3 tenths. How do we multiply fractions, Charlie? Straight across the top, straight across the bottom. Very nice there, Charlie. So you get 12 over 100. Writing that as a decimal, 0 0.12, that's 12 hundredths. Now let's perform the multiplication problem using the vertical format. In this case, we don't have to worry about lining up by place value. We just put the numbers in. Let's perform the multiplication. 4 times 3 is 12. Write down the 2, carry the 1. 3 times 0 is 0, add the 1, you get 1. And then, what are you supposed to do? You're supposed to count the place values in the numbers that you're multiplying together. What is it that you're actually doing? Watch. Notice we have one place value on the 4 tenths and one place value on the 3 tenths. What you're doing is you're saying, hey, I'm multiplying a tenth by a tenth, which means my result will be hundredths. You can see that in the calculation with fractions. You're multiplying 4 tenths times 3 tenths, giving you 12 hundredths, which means two decimal place values in your answer. So that's why in your answer you have to move two decimal place values, giving you the result of 12 hundredths, 0 0.12. There you go. How about a division problem with decimals? Now don't get scared. Here we have 3 tenths divided by 4 tenths. Let's first convert the decimals to fractions. 3 tenths divided by 4 tenths. Now, what do we do, Charlie, when we divide with fractions? Multiply by the reciprocal. That's right. So we have 3 tenths times 10 fourths. Now, we can cross cancel across the multiplication. Tens cancel, leaving us with the result of 3 fourths. And if you remember from our last video, when we converted 3 fourths to a decimal, we got 75 hundredths, 0 0.75. Now let's perform the division problem using the long division technique. Now don't get scared. Here we have 3 tenths divided by 4 tenths. We're going to divide 4 tenths into a 3 tenths. But what are you told to do? You're told to make that outside number a whole number, the 4 tenths, by moving decimals, right? So if you move the decimal once on the outside, you must move the decimal point one time on the inside. Why are you doing this? What you're actually doing is you're multiplying both those numbers by 10. Look up at the top. We have 3 tenths over 4 tenths. If we multiply both numerator and denominator by 10, we get 3 fourths, which means 3 divided by 4. It means 3 tenths divided by 4 tenths is equivalent to the calculation 3 divided by 4. And so let's do that calculation. 3 divided by 4 means 4 is going into 3, and let's perform the calculation again. 4 does not go into 3, so we put a 0 as a placeholder. Add another 0. 4 goes into 37 times. 7 times 4 is 28. Subtract. We get 2. Bring in another 0. Bring it down. 4 goes into 25 times. 5 times 4 is 20, and we get a remainder of 0. So what does this all mean? It means 3 tenths divided by 4 tenths is the same as doing 3 divided by 4, and the answer is 75 hundredths. That's what we expected to get. Okay, let's do another one here. Here we have 0 0.423 plus 
Let's do the addition using the vertical format and line everything up by place value. In this case, line everything up by the decimal. We have 0.423 and 1.30005. Notice the decimals are lined up. Now, one thing to remember, you can always add zeros to a decimal number and not change its value. Let's add this up. 0 plus 5 is 5. 0 plus 0 is 0. 3 plus 0 is 3. 2 plus 0 is 2. 4 plus 3 is 7. And 0 plus 1 is 1. And notice our final answer is 1.72305. OK, let's do another one. Here we have a subtraction problem. 0 0.75 subtract 1.382. Let's read these decimals correctly. This is 75 hundredths subtract 1 and 382 one thousandths, right? Because that 2 in the 1.382 is in the one thousandths place value. Now, if we tried to do this problem using the vertical format, we'd get a negative answer. And that's not possible, right? You cannot get a negative result when you use a vertical format for subtraction. So here's where we have to use some Kung Fu. We know that this answer is negative because we have 0 0.75 and we're subtracting 1.382, which is larger than the 0 0.75. So we have to use some Kung Fu. The answer is the opposite of 1.382 subtract 0 0.75. Now those numbers there, we can perform the subtraction using the vertical format. So here we are, 1.382 subtract 0 0.750. Notice we line everything up with a decimal. 2 subtract 0 is 2. 8 subtract 5 is 3. 3 subtract 7 we can't do, so we have to borrow from our next column. That gives us a 0 there, a 13 there. 13 subtract 7 is 6, and we get a 0. So 0 0.632 is the result of that subtraction problem in the parentheses. There it is. But remember, we did a kung fu move. We said it's the opposite of that answer. So our answer is not positive 0 0.632. It's negative 0 0.632. And that is our final answer for that one. So we had to use a little kung fu there, right? Let's continue on. Here's another multiplication problem. Now, don't get scared, Charlie. 3 and 4 one thousandths times 2 and 18 hundredths. Let's use a vertical format. Now, what we're going to do is we have to multiply 3.004 times 2.18, but we're going to do it over here. Forget about the decimals for a second. 8 times 4 is 32. Put down the 2, carry the 3. 8 times 0 is 0, and 3, that's a 3. 8 times 0 is 0, and 8 times 3 is 24. Let's continue on. The 1 is in the second column, so we have to add a 0 as a placeholder. 1 times 4 is 4, 1 times 0 is 0, 1 times 0 is 0, and 1 times 3 is 3. Now, let's work with the 2. The 2 is in the third column, and so we have to put those two zeros as placeholders. 2 times 4 is 8, 2 times 0 is 0, 2 times 0 is 0, and 2 times 3 is 6. Now we add all those up. Our first column, we end up with a 2. The second column, 3 plus 4 is 7. Our third column is 8. Our fourth column is 4. Our fifth column is 2 plus 3, which is 5, and then we bring down that 6, right? There we go. Now remember, we have to count the place values in the numbers that we're multiplying together. We have three place values there, we have two place values there, so that means our result, we have to have five decimal place values, and there's our final answer, 6.54872. There we go. Let's do one more. Here we have 29.25 divided by 4.5. Now, don't get scared. Remember, if we multiply both numerator and denominator by 10, that will make the denominator a whole number. So doing that, we get 292 and 5 tenths divided by 45. So when we perform law division, we take 4.5 and we are dividing it into 29.25. But remember, we move the decimal place one place on each number, which means we're multiplying by tens. And so we are going to perform the calculation. 45 is going into 292.5. And this is a tricky one here. How many times does 45 go into 292? Well, 45 plus 45 is 90. That's two 45s. 90 plus 90 is 180. 
plus another 90 is 270. That's six 45s altogether. That's some kung fu math there. That's tricky. So 45 goes into 292 six times because 45 times 6 was 270. And now you subtract. 2 subtract 0 is 2. 9 subtract 7 is 2. 2 subtract 2 is 0. Let's bring down our 5. How many times does 45 go into 225? Well, 45 plus 45 is 90. 90 plus 90 is 180. That's four 45s. And 180 plus another 45 is 225. So that's five 45s. That's some kung fu right there. So 45 times 5 is 225. We subtract, we get a remainder of zero. So our final answer is 6.5, 6 and 5 tenths for this division problem. That's enough for now. Let's take a break and we'll see you again soon.